CampingGearTV.com. I'm Ben. I'm Josh. I'm dressed like a glow worm here. Today we are looking at sleeping bags. Yep. We got two sleeping bags. These are uh, both mummy type sleeping bags. A lot different than the type of ones where the, the top is opened up and you just kind of like fold it over and put yourself right. in and fold right. it back over and zip it up. Right. So, you know, when I was getting in this thing, the first thing I noticed that I like about it is that the zipper only goes, the zipper only goes, it's, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Mm. And I don't know if I can show this without falling out of my chair. But the zipper only goes about a foot from the bottom, which makes it nice. Because one of the things in a, like traditional type sleeping bags uh, that makes it difficult is the zipping at the bottom part, and you're navigating the the corners and where it separates the zipper from the bag and all that stuff. Um, but uh, really quickly, also, what I noticed about this is that it's pretty darn tight in here. Oh yeah, I don't have any room to move really. I'm already very very hot. Of course, it's not very cold where we're at right now, but this if, if you were camping in some pretty mm -hmm. treacherous temperatures, these types of sleeping bags would definitely be doing the trick if you're into that sort of thing. If you're yeah. not into being like, you know, tightly compacted when you sleep and you need to twist and turn, this could possibly be a very problematic design sleeping bag for you. Yeah. When, I, when I was getting in mine, it was taking a second to really get in this thing and zip it up, but once you're in it, I mean, you're... You're tied up pretty tight. It's yeah. pr pretty, uh, you're packed in pretty tight, and it, it is very warm. Now, these sleeping bags, <clears throat> they're, they're two different kinds we got here, obviously. Mine's made by a, uh, a company called, uh, well, this is the Sleep Cell Mummy, and it's made in China, and the company who makes it is called Cell Corp. Okay, we got this for uh, $24.99 at Dick's Sporting Goods Store. Yep. Okay, and it's mine is uh, 30. It's rated 30 degrees. Okay. So you know anything below there, it's saying that it will not keep you warm in that weather. I kind of feel like it would. Really? I imagine 30 degrees is just the safe rating, saying if you're in uh, 30 degree and above, you'll you'll uh, yeah you'll be uh, you'll be warm. Yours cool. is a little bit better rated. Yeah, this is the Field and Stream MT20, and it's got a 20 degree rating. So uh, like Ben said, that would mean that it can. Uh, you know, it's been tested to keep you warm and uh, keep you from getting the nasty hypothermia down to 20 degrees. I feel like though we would be, we could go in zero degree weather and be okay. But I don't of course, know. I, I say that because I'm so hot right now. Yeah. So I'm sure it would do the trick in 30 degree weather right. though. Mine and, and yours obviously in 20 because yeah. that's the rating. Well, yeah, and um, you know, I, I don't know. Most people aren't outside camping. Um, in 20 degree weather, let alone 30 degree weather. I guess, you know, for some people you are, uh, 30 degrees, you know, yeah, I can see it getting down like that. There's times if where you're, you're, if, you're out, if you're in hunting season, yeah. you're not camping then, but yeah. if you're out on a uh, summer float trip, mm -hmm. or maybe you're doing like a rock climbing type of trip and you're camping yeah. outside, yeah. hell no, you would not want to be in these things. Hell to the no. No, nope, you're gonna so, want to get one of those uh, uh, real, real thin sleeping bags or, or you know that would just regular ones yes. go down the side and fold over. So th these are just too too compact, too warm for you yeah. know summer night. Even this one on the box said thirty to sixty degree weather is what mine would be good for. Right. I mean I would be so hot at sixty degrees in this thing. Right. You know. Plus there's only room for one in these things. Yeah. So if you're with a special buddy, you're you're still you're yeah. sleeping alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that you know that I been thinking about I've actually been thinking a lot about it is that I would probably buy that green one for $25 versus this field and stream that I'm wearing for $40 it just seems like the the, the need for a, a sleeping bag to be 20 degrees um, is for a little more extreme conditions so if you're planning on being out camping in the winter um, or the late fall or the real early spring and you think you might be in some 20 degree weather then maybe the field and stream for forty bucks. Otherwise, for twenty five bucks, I think that mummy is a pretty good deal. Yeah, once we were when we were definitely out and about looking at sleeping bags in this design, we were seeing that obviously the more expensive 
sleeping bag was due to the uh, rating and temperature. So, you know, we saw a lot of sleeping bags get up into the $100 range yeah. and they'd be rated for zero degree weather. And, you know, if you're, if you're doing a camping trip up in Canada, up north during the winter, you're definitely going to hit those, <clears throat> those types of temperatures. Both of, these, both of these uh, came in a little like a duffel bag. Mine is right next to me here, this green thing. It was kind of a beast to get out of there. These first time out of the package, I think these companies have professional packers that stuff these things in there. Right. I don't know how we're going to get that back in. And then this came, this is what mine came in. It looks up. Uh, it actually, it's pretty cool, the bag for the field and stream. It's got a bunch of different straps around it, which would make it really convenient. Yeah, you can for packing. Yeah, and, you, you can get a, a lot more compact than you can I in this can, bag. Yeah, <clears throat> but this would just be really convenient for strapping to a backpack or right. something like that. Which is again probably you know adding yes. to the the price, making it forty dollars. So there's some pros there, yeah. but again personal preference. That, you know if you're not uh, yep. if you're not needing to fit everything in a, a small backpack. Yeah. You know if you're hiking, then you know maybe you don't need that as much. So. But, so when you're out looking for your own sleeping bag, I think the key is looking for, you know, how cold of the weather you're going to be in. And if you're not in zero degree weather, then there's really not a whole lot of need to spend a hundred dollars on a sleeping bag unless you really want to. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically it for this episode. Yes. My butt crack is sweating. Yep. Time so, to get out of these things. See you next time. CampingGearTV.com.